Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Running Red, the hardcore questing mod pack from Gideon Seymour. Now, I've been busy, but I would like actually to do a few things. I'd like to finish off the quests, because I've... Wait a second. I need to eat, because I'm, as usual, hungry. Don't ask me why. I seem to always be hungry in this game. Um, I'd like to finish off the quest. Let's have a look at this one about flight potion. It doesn't say what type of flight potion we have to make. So I reckon it'll be the, the cheapest one. In other words, the, you have to make it using a weak catalyst. So let's have a look what we got for this one. So I reckon we're going to have to use an average lengthening catalyst, power catalyst, greater power catalyst, just a straightforward mundane lengthening, greater lengthening, a simple catalyst, Actually, it's supposed to be a weak catalyst, what I'm looking for. Let's have a look for weak then. It must be this one, a weak binding agent. So what we need to make a weak binding agent is we need one clay and two simple catalysts. And two simple catalysts require two redstone, one sugar, one glowstone and one gunpowder. Okay, now I've got all of that, I think, prepared in here. Should I go, actually not so much redstone. I probably could do with some more redstone. Let's go and get some more redstone. And that should be in this cyclic assembler. That's the water one. This one, yes. So what do I need for redstone? I just need sand and a bucket of life it's got, only got three sand in that it's going to get some more sand i'm having that I've, I've got plenty now because the pulverizer is producing loads this is the one so we just simply put the this in here and let it do its stuff so i've already got 40 and it's run out of blood so I just take that out again I'll take that out of here now we can put these into this so we've already got some gunpowder we'll put the rest of it in if I halve that like that take that out it was, it was it doesn't matter where these things go I believe just put them in and then just wait and here we have one simple catalyst we need two for the wheat binding agent I've got two. And I'm going to let that just cook a few more up because I'm sure I'm going to need plenty of these. So the weak binding agent is this one. So we need one clay and two simple catalysts to make one weak binding agent. So clay is actually no problem. Let's go down to here and get some. This is the residue. Oh my goodness, it's already full. From the um, sludge boiler. And you see you're getting all sorts of stuff in here. Plenty of clay. Not for a reasonable amount of soul sand and gravel and plenty of dirt which is in fact has really useful i've got some heat sand here and some tainted soil which i don't think i'm going to use because i don't have and plenty of peat if i want to make a peat fired engine if i can that is and the bees are working way over here i think so I'll look no flowers ah oh, yes that was the previous one no flowers that's why it's not happened Oh, one more thing. I have to put some impregnated hive um, frames in here. So we just need some flowers. Let's just get some flowers. What have I got on me I can do flowers with? I haven't got the uh, sigil of the green grove. That would be the best one to use. In fact, I don't know where I'm going to put all this clay. Let's put it... Which chest can I use? This chest for the time being, I think. It'll be a while before we get anywhere near to filling up this chest. And I'll put the dirt in there as well. And the sawdust. Right, in fact, I've got a bone. A bone here, I can just put, give myself three bone meals. And let's go and get a few more bone meals because I've got plenty of those as well. So, what we need to do is make some flowers for the bees. And I've gone a bit off track. Well, that's normal. 
so let's hope that we get some flowers with this pomegranate. There we got one already. Now that should no flowers. I think that may take a few seconds before that, because just a forest queen just requires ordinary flowers, as far as I know. Nothing special. Cut out these. I've got to cut a few seeds with that one, actually. And try it again. Barley as well. I hope we'll get a daffodil or something like that. Now, if with a daffodil. Oh, it's a daffodil. Bees quite like daffodils. Now you see that's gone because of this one single flower. Which is fine. In fact, it will they will in fact the bees themselves will make plenty of flowers. Another tree's been chopped down. <laughs> see they're working beautifully now. The impregnated hive, by the way, is uh it's relatively expensive in terms of seeds. But it's quite straightforward to make. Let's have a look at how the recipe for impregnated hive is. It's just, it's basically f eight sticks around one string. The impregnated sticks is made in the carpenter with seed oil and two blocks of wood, like that. Produces two sticks, which so that's relatively expensive wood-wise. But they are the best what we can get at the moment. We have no villages around, so right. Now that the bees are actually doing something, let's go back over here. Right, simple binding agents. We've got now nine of those, which is plenty. We ran out of glowstone. So now we wanted to make the weak binding agent. So that's one clay, which I've and which I've forgotten, and two simple binding agents. take these 16 here that's plenty for what we need so we can put split those up simply a right click if you don't know what it is and leave that to to make the wheat binding agent now to make the potion of flight what you need is a potion jar we've got three of those sort those out actually three of those and a feather And that should be all I need. In fact, while I'm here, and it's making, let's just get rid of these seeds. So I got an arch water artichoke seed. Oh, that's good. And some ordinary seeds. Oh my goodness, only one. In fact, we'll put that one straight in the, in here, in the squeezer. It won't generate very much oil, but um, it generates enough. What's wrong with that? I probably got the wrong uh, orb in there. I probably need a, a, big, a better orb. Let's take out the apprentice blood orb because that's one better than the week. I don't know if it's going to work either, but we'll try. Yes. So now we should get a weak binding agent. What we do is we combine this weak binding agent with a bottle and a feather and we'll get a potion of flight. And to make the next one, the binding agent, I think there's a standard binding agent as well, is this one. We need the weak binding agent, Sanctus and Crystallis. And Crystallis is where we need the ice. So we need two blocks of snow, two blocks of ice, we'll give, and a simple catalyst will give a Crystallis. So it's quite... Up. We also need a Buster's blood orb i think apprentice so we can do it with apprentice and then you have the lengthening catalyst which actually increases the time that the agents work for so we have these two or these three a mundane lengthening catalyst an average one and a greater lengthening catalyst that's something the length of wire because mechan works so this one here is the weak binding agent a simple catalyst and redstone we'll get with a magician's blood orb or higher so we'll sh a massive blood orb or higher things so, so we can do that one this one here is a standard catalyst and i 
doesn't look like we can do this. It's a master blood orb and an alchemist blood orb, which is tier four level blood orbs. So we can't do the average lengthening. We can actually do the mundane lengthening. Okay. So we now got five of these. We didn't probably should have kept the catalyst, didn't I? Anyway, it's fairly straightforward to make some more of those. But I'll tell you one thing, they are a bit of a pain. Let's see if we can make this one. I think this will do. So three redstone. We've only got one catalyst now, so we won't waste it on those. Like that, and then that should. Well, it would do. We've got the apprentice blood orb in. So what we need is the next level up. The magician's blood orb. So I'll put the apprentice blood orb away. Actually, we'll put the blood. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put put that in the in the hopper because it never does any harm to have too much LP in your network. And of course, the usual business when we're here: a few mobs to grind. I'll keep him well back, but I sometimes get a bit brave and go nearer after last time's little excursion with the creeper. Usually the problem is the spider blocking it up, but as a spider up there we can simply one hit. Right, that's fine. So let's take out this. I don't need this in here. And take out the magician's blood orb. One more skeleton and now we can go and put that on here and get yes now it's working you see we're getting the particle effects so we'll get one tiny with mundane lengthening agent so now what we do is we need a flask a feather and a standing and a standing binding agent should produce for us a potion flask of flight and this is there we go and it's got one minute's flight let's go and now check the quest book How th is that the one i need to do see if it works for do manual detect no it doesn't potion flask let's cross a potion of flight but it doesn't tell you which one we need Okay, what we do now have is a potion of flight. Flight, one minute. So let's let's tell you what we do now. We try and put on the, this cut with a, a mun, lengthening catalyst and see if that then works. It doesn't seem to be working. Okay, so let's take another feather. And try that again. So we had a, a feather, a length link at list, um, a jar, and a weak binding agent. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, it is. So here we have another one. That, and that's just the one with two minutes forty seconds. Now, do we have? Have we succeeded? No. But it doesn't tell me what I need here. That's a bit strange. And maybe I have to actually. Hmm. Well, that's a bit strange. I don't know what to do with that one. I shall have to go and look it up and come back. In the meantime, we've got another quest to complete, which is really strange. Let's put those in this um, blood magic chest over here. I think Soraki most of the blood magic stuff. I also did a resonant portal tank. What else do we have in here? This, I wonder if I have to actually use one. We'll see. Plenty of gunpowder, sort that out. One bone, don't really need that anymore. At the moment, two string. 
Okay, that will do for now. So the other thing we had to do, come back to the quest book here, is to getting foggy. We had to make this charging station. So the charging station, let's have a look at the recipe for the charging station. Is this one. So we need three plastics, three cobblestone slabs, and one pressure tube. Okay. And just in case I haven't, I don't think I have any cobblestone slabs. Oops, wrong chest. I moved everything. I forgot where to put it, didn't I? And that was ages ago too. It's in here. So let's just take three pieces of cobblestone and make some cobblestone slabs. Six cobblestone slabs. Now the plastic, I actually already got four. And if you remember how I did that, I use these. We'll just go back again, just in case. See, these are actually multi starting to multiply reasonably well now. Just take one of these, or maybe even two. Ah, perfect. Look at that. And then we can come along here and just check what's going on in here. So at the moment we've got in here as an output. Uh, I want to have a filter. Yes, that's right. So I want to have a fire flower so it's in the input. And when I do that, what I do have to be careful is to make sure that the signal of magnetism is turned off. Because it will actually put stuff out it, it will actually stuff take stuff out of the of the So now we come along here, as you can hear it's going in. And we've got output see it's already made those now to get those out let's turn on the signal of magnetism you see I've got six so one of course the easy way to do that and the correct way to do it I noticed that when I was doing iron it's pulling all the iron out before I even got near to it so we can then do it that way and it would come out automatically into the chest so now we can make what we need to make the charging station one pipe I needed as well, didn't I? And that should be in this chest at the back where I've just been come from. One pipe, pressure tube. And what we need is, if I'm only one pressure tube, three pieces of plastic. If I shift right on that one, it just does one at a time, and three cobblestone. Oh no, I got it wrong. I think it might be here. There we go charging station pneumatic craft so let's go back to that and here we have 100% and now I've got to make an empty PCB okay let's find out how we make an empty PCB here we go empty PCB so that's one block of redstone in a tier 2 auto with 5000 LP Gives me that very straightforward block of altar and block of redstone is just shift right clicking on a crafting station. We need 5000 LP. This looks pretty full actually. So let's just put the blocks, block of redstone here, move the charging station out of the way, and put it with the noise from the things, and that should do that trick. And then, of course, we can harvest some more blood. Quite a lot of mobs hiding away there. Oh, I've got no, I haven't got my thing on my signal of magnetism. Magnetism. I've got zombie res. Get rid of this stuff. That don't want in here. You see, the creeper, the creepers are very sneaky. Stuff so I got in here that I don't want. Some mob space stuff. Got an underpull. I think I see underpull. Yes, there's a spider up there. You can see his little red eyes. This is, of course, is a good way. Oh, I actually shot the creeper in one go. That's quite cool. In fact, I know that already. I've done this before. When one got out, I had to go and kill him with a. Find a way of killing him. 
I'll switch over. There we go. And just another spider. And another one. Right, good. So, I wanted to get this. And here we have, oh, an empty piece of it. It looks like it's cooking again, so I better be careful at E. Maybe I should leave it for a bit and see what happens to it. Well, let's go and get another block of redstone. Since it has a next level, we're bound to need the next level at some stage, so. And here we have something else. And that's no longer an empty PCB. Let's put that into here. And it's, this one's cooking as well. Let's get it out before it does too much. What have we got this time? An unassembled PCB. I wonder what the uses for that are. Shapeless crafting. Tier 2 will give me a printed circuit board. Okay. 7,000. And in this, so we got plenty, absolutely plenty of blood in the moment. And there's a zombie waiting to be harvested. In fact, I'm going to wait here. I don't know how long it takes to do, actually. Let's have a look. There he is. Hopefully I can reach it when it turns into a PCB. There we go. I put some old, some rotten rotten flesh in the uh, thing. So we've now got an empty PCB and an assembled unassembled PCB. Let's have a look at the crest book. So now we've gone manual detect. Now about a lifelong wait. This time we got to do an unassembled PCB. What a shock. That was just pure luck. And a hospital stay. And then the next one's a printed circuit board. Well, let's do that. In fact, I'll make another one and let it go through. It's three cycles by the looks of it. It's three. I think we'll have plenty of blood in the altar, which a quick check. 28,000. That'll be definitely more than enough. That's a skeleton, but I bet that's a small skeleton, a baby skeleton. Oh, no. A real skeleton. What else have we got on here that we don't really wouldn't want that one? We've got two more bows. Let's go and put those away while we're waiting for these things to cook up. And I can use this one of these two bows to actually repair this one. Which is actually one of the reasons I don't throw them away straight away. Probably should do. What else have we got in here that we don't? Not much really, just a bit of clay which I'll put over here. Some iron ingots we can put up there as well. In fact, we can sort that. And sugar. Uh, we could take some gold and make some more glowstone, couldn't we? And the glowstone will be coming into this here. There's still no blood in it. I still need to get more blood out of the... Uh, there's plenty in here already, isn't there? Did you get plenty of blood out? I could use the forbs. So we have to find a way of breaking the floors into real blood. See, See now we've got the empty PCB and it's cooking up to the next level. Oh, it looks like this is the end of early seed has actually matured. Well done, early seed. Next thing we're going to do is build our fluid transfers and actually get some um, end stone one or two pieces will be fine. Just melt down some ender pearls and just get some that way. 
these are very good as well these weak blood shards we get that from the bound blade and the bound blade in fact is in here and what I've done is I've disenchanted a lot of items so this one was had a was previously enchanted and what I want to do is I want to enchant this with something better than what we did and for that we need plenty of XP I've got 23 on me at the moment I think that's three rather than eight and we take these books here, and if you can look at these books you can't see anything let's put the monocle on put the monocle on or the you get this is a flim flam one flim flam two knockback two knockback two thorns one fire aspect two which I don't actually need to smite fire four so we do want to take this book out of here sometime let's just do it like this because smite is a very good one and looting three so if we get the smite four and then we can copy this book I've showed you how to do that last time I think that's still cooking nope we have actually got now a printed circuit board brilliant let's have a look at that what shall we put in its place not an arrow let's put in its place the um, apprentice blood orb take that out of there now let's go back to the quest book and do another manual detect there we go oops yet another one a pneumatic helmet so we have to make a pneumatic helmet interesting I don't know how to do that yet let's go and find out how to do that I wonder if it will work this way I can't see it Oh yes I can look, pneumatic helmet, zero bar. So we need one printed circuit board and four air canisters. And air canisters made with compressed iron to redstone. So maybe we can do that. So we need four of these. Try again. Four. That was just right clicking. Compressed iron. I should have a steel 59. That's plenty. Uh, we need four pressure tubes. Half that right click. Take half out of there. Avoid my machines, they're getting in the way again. And uh, what happens if I put one of those? Yes, I get one. So I need four. So now we've got what we need for the helmet. So the fire remember that was I'm not sure exactly what it was now. If I've got it wrong. Ah yes, there we go. Zero bar. Now let's have a look what we have to do now. Oh, it's detected that this time. Now I can actually claim the reward. So I can have an item search or an entity tracker. Do you know I have no idea which one to choose. Let's just choose this one. So I get eight golden apple, not apples, and all of those bits. Let's put the not apples up here, which will give me now sixty. Yes, that's good. So now I guess that the charging station we we can put over here. Um, how does this work then? Let's put it on the front, shall we? Put it down here. It was wrong one. Stand back a bit. Yes, now I can should be able to put the helmet on there. And that then should chart. Yes, look, it's now getting pressure. And the maximum pressure for this is 10 bar. We can't do 10 bar because we only have maximum of 3.5. I can make it. Yes, I think maximum is 3.5 or a little bit more perhaps. Anyway, let's do that. Leave that now. Let's go back to the book. First, we grab some food, of course. Questing is definitely hungry work. Now, here's the book. 
that one's done so now we come up to what droning on and what do we have to make here a programmer and then we'll get a choice of drone so that's interesting I'll make it a full heart so we need to now make a program a programmer got nothing to do with bees that's interesting oh, I suppose except for the name droning on aha uh -huh, very funny let's have a look programmer Here we go, one programmer. So that's made with six of these, which is fine. A turbine rotor and a printed circuit board. And a black plastic, which is made from squid plant seeds. OK, that's very straightforward. We can do that straight away, I think. We just need some squid plant seeds, which of course is in the other chest. Squid plant seeds, one. But I have some more over here planted. Now they, they're actually quite difficult to plant these things because every time you plant them they try to jump out of the water so I'm never sure whether it's a good idea to go a shallow one like this and he goes pew and landed perfect and was that one or two let's get in that picked it up oh we've got three oh super so I only need one of these let's just chuck the other two in hope that they pop up yeah, great. Wow, that's such hard work. So here we go. Now what we want to do is come to the item filter and of course make squid plant seeds as an option. And I'll do the same as I did last time, just put that in a hopper. It should come into here. Get closed. Now it's already made, let's just turn on my signal of magnetism. A seagull, I should really call it. I keep calling it the wrong thing. But by now, I guess you've realised that. So then it would come out this time. So we needed, of course, six of these. And we've got four, I think. So we need just need another couple of seeds. Let's go and get a couple more fireflies. Firefly seeds. Help. Doesn't help to put it on with a seagull, does it? That's one. That's two. Didn't actually do anything. Let's try. I've got some bone meal. Let's just try bone mailing these things and see if we get a lucky break. And it's three. One, two, three. Stand back and watch it spit its magic out. Nope. Try again. You see? Oops. You see it landing on there. Uh -huh. So that is definitely what's happening. It's spitting the flowers out, but they've got to be lucky and land in the right place. But they don't, but they don't rarely land in the right place. So I'll have to make a bigger another area for this. There we go. Got another one. So we get here. I got two, which is all I need, I think. So let's put these into the hopper. In fact, I've actually nearly come to the end of this episode because I've been making my episodes have got a bit long just recently, and now I've done about thirty min, thirty-three minutes. They've probably already gone out. Let's have a look. No, where are they? Oh, yes, they're coming out now. Two. Okay, two, that's three, and we have probably three in the other chest, I think. Yes. So now we can finish off the programmer. I th oh, no, we can't. Let's go back to our programmer. We need to do these turbines. So we needed five anyway. So we need a turbine blade and compressed iron. Turbine blade is a, is a redstone. Okay, fairly straightforward. Two redstone and one gold will give me a turbine blade in the compressor one bar okay so we need f how many of these do we need six so we need 12 redstone and six gold 
Okay, 12 redstone. That should be actually halving this. Plus one. Get through redstone quick, don't we? And six gold. So, okay, let's go back over here and do the same thing. Let's go to the item filter first of all and put redstone as a possibility and gold. Let's go to the hopper and put these two in. Hopefully the order doesn't matter. And we can look in here and you're seeing things are popping around. And here you can see some turbines, cool. This one. What do we get? Six turbine blades. Fantastic. So now we should be able to make two of these. It was a pattern of three like this, wasn't it? I don't know why I'm asking you, but uh, I'm sure you're probably more observant than I am. There we go, two of these. So what do we need now? Printed circuit board, I don't have. Let's press, let's get what we have got going in here. So we need five of those. One black one, two of these. And lastly, but not least, a, a printed circuit board, which is just an assembled circuit board in the hot, in the, in the altar is 7,000. So let's put that in there. Take that out. Oops. Take, take that out. Try again. All right. And then of course, while we're here, replenish the blood supplies. Very noisy they are today. But the next, between now and the next episode, what I'm going to do is to is to extend the altar. And these are going to plan it. But what is good with this is it does help with two things. First of all, you get XP, and the second thing is you also can do that quest the repeatable quest to get diamonds bring a bit of a pain that one have to probably a spider in the way it's getting me bow and arrow out yes there you go now it's can get him yes it's a spider in here There is a way to actually deal with spiders so, you don't, so they don't spawn, but to be honest with you, I quite like them. Especially since it's related to, related to my name. Oh, I can't get them at the moment. in there today. It's really the creepers that are the ones they need to watch out for, isn't it? There we go. Any more spiders in there? Yes, one. Let's get rid of him because he's causing problems with these guys. 28 XP. Alright, good. Whew. One bone drum on that. And a sp spider eye, which in fact is very useful. Two more to my enderpool, I've got an enderpool on that as well, on that collection. Right, I see it's a printed PCB, we were here for it, weren't we? So let's get that out of here. Put the blood orb in the hopper. A lot of stuff over time in the hopper, doesn't it? But I've decided I'm not going to try emptying it out every time I come here. One of those in the middle, and we should have one programmer. Fantastic. Now, let's check the quest book. Uh-oh, still got to make something. I've got to make a pro programming puzzle. So I'll do that now. I've done 40 minutes. So until the next episode, see you then. Bye for now.